Hello guys and welcome to another video with me, Destination Discovery. In this video you'll be seeing my very short trip to Bilbao in Spain, northern Spain. Right now I'll be leaving you with some facts about Bilbao and I'll join you at the end for some cost in detail. See you then. Let's hear some facts shall we? Bilbao is an industrial port city located in northern Spain and is surrounded by green mountains. It's also the capital of the autonomous region of the Basque country. Bilbao is known as Botso, which translated to English means hole. This is because of its geographical location between the Archander, Avial, Arnotigi and Pagasari mountains. Popular to country belief, not all of Spain sees the sun, and this goes for Bilbao as well. Don't expect typical hot weather and sunshine every day, even in the summer. It can often be cloudy and rainy here. Basque is an official language here as well as Castilian, so don't be surprised if you hear it on the streets or see road signs in an unfamiliar language. Basque is the oldest European language and is completely unrelated to any other language on the planet currently spoken today. Bilbao is divided by the Nervian River, which was how it was founded. There are two parts of the city. One side is dedicated to industry and the other is dedicated to commerce. In the first area of the city, you can find mostly factories and working class neighbourhoods. Whereas the other side, you can find commercial, historic and residential areas. This means that there are old and new parts of the city with nine bridges connecting them to one another. As you have just learned, Bilbao is divided by two parts. On the western side, the old and historic area of Bilbao is full of wonders and is very beautiful. Notable places include the Cathedral of Santiago, Churches of San Antonio and the Plaza Nueva. A very famous trademark of the city is of course the Guggenheim. The museum is made up of 33,000 titanium plates, one of the most resistant materials existing, and is guarded by 38,000 flowers, the famous puppy. Bilbao is surrounded by the Basque Mountains and sits on an estuary that leads to the Atlantic Ocean. You can go hiking around Alexandra Hill in the morning, followed by a surf session at Sopelana Beach in the afternoon. Here you can do loads of different things. You have the best of the countryside and the coast. The Fitzaya Bridge, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, was built in 1893 and is the oldest transporter bridge in the world. The port of Bilbao is very important for the city and also for Spain as a whole. One of the signs of the city's identity is its peculiar tiles, created between 1940s and 1950s to withstand rain and prevent the Bilbao people from slipping. Hello and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. In this video you'll be seeing my short day trip to Bilbao, uh, which is a city in northern Spain. Yes, uh, I've got a... Four hours out there, really, uh, before having to return to the airport. So it's a short time out there. Uh, I'll try to fit in as much as I can uh, while there. Uh, and I am going with a new operator today, and I've not flown on before, uh, Filling, which is a Spanish airline. So, yes, yeah, so that's my plan for today. Um, I'm at Gatwick currently, uh, and I'll be departing from the south terminal, arriving into Bilbao two hours later, uh, and then like I say, I've got about four hours to explore and then returning back to London Gatwick quite early for me, about seven o'clock this evening. I shall join you after security here at Gatwick, but I hope you do enjoy this video.
Hello guys from behind security here at Gatwick South Terminal. Uh, the time now is 6.30, my flight departs at 8.30 so I've got bang on two hours. Um, to my flight departs to the northern coast of Spain, uh, Bilbao. So, I've, as you all know by now, I'll be getting my full English uh, weather spoons here uh, to fill me up for the day ahead. I've uh, got a few hours, like I say, in Bilbao, uh, so not long, but I've got a few things planned. As you'll find out later on, I shall join you when I get to Bilbao. Welcome to Northern Spain, I'm currently in Bilbao, or I have 25 minutes early. Very good first experience with feeling really, because I actually left the stand 20 minutes early. We're all on board and ready to go. Nice flight over. Uh, so yeah, well, 25 minutes early. Now it's time to get the bus into the city. I'll see you when I get to the city. guys and I've just arrived in the centre of Bilbao now. Uh, I'm just outside the uh, famous Gaganim Museum which is a contemporary art museum but one of the most famous and popular tourist attractions here in Bilbao uh, and I've also been uh, greeted uh, by this. Yeah, you saw me right. Uh, that's uh, one of the most famous uh, features uh, as well in the city. Um, I've got no time unfortunately to visit the Guggenheim Museum uh, today um, because I've got limited time um, but uh, I stopped by, I had a look and yeah uh, but uh, the plan for today is I've got a short time here so what's the best way of seeing all the sights? Well that would be going on a sightseeing bus so that is what I'm doing. Uh, so in an hour's time, I'll be getting on one of these sightseeing buses uh, to go around the city, see see the uh, sights. Um, best way to see all the sights is by going on one of these buses, of course, if I've got a short amount of time. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I shall join you later on when I'm on that bus.
guys, as I'm now uh, on the top of the city sightseeing bus, I'm literally the only person on here, uh, so I can't wait to show you around. <laughs> seeing the uh, views from the sightseeing bus from uh, yeah from the seat sightseeing bus so now um, the next way of seeing uh, stuff in such a short part of time is to go up the only mount the mountain here in the city and we are going to be going on a funicular uh, up Sangda funicular um, which is a three minute word up a mountain get views from up there down onto the city of Bill Bay well, well, sorry. <laughs> um, I shall join you when I'm up there. <laughs> Guys, I'm now at the top of Mount Alessandra. I just finished my three minute finicular ride up to the top here. Let's see what the views have to offer of this city down below us, shall we? I'll join you later on.
Hello guys, so I'm now back down the mountain, I'm back down into <coughs> Bilbao Centre and that brings to a close my sightseeing tour for today in Bilbao. I can't stress this enough though, there's way too much to do here just for one day. Uh, if I had the opportunity I would definitely stay here. Come, I will come back here again, stay a few nights next time um, because it is such just too many sites to see that I wanted to do today. I've uh, never been to a city really that has this much. Uh, and I didn't know it was a tourist destination until I was researching places. Uh, so I learned something new coming here today. I wouldn't have came here otherwise. Um, so yeah, I can't stress it enough. Um, I would definitely recommend uh, coming to Bilbao if you have the opportunity here in northern Spain. Now it's time to walk to a bus stop to get my airport bus back to the airport. Uh, the time now is 3pm. My flight to Bilbao is past 6. So it's about a half an hour bus ride. So yeah. Yeah, so I need to get back to the bus stop and I'll see you back at the airport. Hello guys, so I'm back at the airport here in Bilbao. Um, flight's in about an hour's time. Uh, so I'm going to go past five. Flight departs at quarter past six this evening. Uh, about two hours ago, back to London, get me. Well, then we'll go back home. So, my day here in Bilbao is over. I can't. I've enjoyed it, but like I said before, too much things to see and do. Didn't manage to fit it all in in one day. Uh, so, I definitely want to come back here again sometime in the near future. So I shall join you when I'm back in the UK. That, <coughs> that's it. Uh, my day is over. I'm now back where well, I started back in the UK, London Gatwick Airport. My flight again with feeling was actually on time. It departed on time. Arrived 20 minutes early. No cure passport control, so straight through. And now it's time for me to go home and get some beauty sleep. I do hope you enjoyed seeing this short trip to northern Spain to build be well uh, and i do hope to see you in another video in the very near future please don't forget if you like this video <clears throat> please like it share it and hit that notification button to keep up to date with my new videos until next time good night so let's see how much this facial trip to bilbao costed me shall we Firstly, the return flights from London to Bilbao, booked for a company called Alternative Airlines, came to £120.54, or in euros, that is £140.78. Food and drink whilst in the UK totaled to £23.23, £23, or €27.13. Euros. The public bus from the airport to the city centre return was £5.14 or €6. Euros. Food and drink in Bilbao came to a total of £34.60 or €40.41. The Bilbao City Few Sightseeing Bus 24-hour hop-on hop-off ticket was £13.70 or €16. Euros. The Art Sandra Finicola return ticket costed me £3.68 or €4.30. So the grand total of this very short trip came to £200.89 or in euros that is €234.62. So the what really brought it up was the flights uh, from London to Bilbao as that obviously came to over £100. Um, if we didn't have to flight or if they were much cheaper it wouldn't have been a bad price trip. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the very near future. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button to stay up to date with my latest videos. Until next time, good night.